although there are some professionals on the team now, uh, like we were basically just a group of nobodies at the start. And, you know, again, when it comes to gaming and, and just trying ideas, you know, wh like what works in the small group of us 20 developers and, you know, when we play the game and it goes, oh, yeah, of course, you'd play this section like this and everything fits perfectly and it's great. And then you throw it out to a couple million people. Well, you know, obviously you're going to have <laughs> um, a, a pretty good handful of people not playing it the way that you think would be the, you know, just the normal way to play it, right? But uh, right. so yeah, we had lots. We have lot, and we still have lots to learn and lots to fix <laughs> with that, or just adjust a little. But well, as with anything, right? Yeah. Now that the game is released and you've had a chance to kind of take in a lot of those different observations from the, are, are there any numbers specifically about how many people have have downloaded this game? This um, mod? Well, I, I can. I guess I can give a little bit of that information out. Um, our our actual servers ourselves like the like the ones that we hosted right um i think our downloaders add over two million uh but that number would be it would be strictly just people that downloaded it from our own our specific servers and our server was just one out of five or six that was active yeah and then that it. doesn't count any of the torrents and the torrent was actually more active than everything so like by estimation we kind of figure there's probably around you know, four to five million people that that have probably played it, and there's probably a few more that have downloaded it, but maybe just never got it installed, or just it was a little, a little bit too complicated, you know. And so, yeah, like, like, I, like, I would say four to five million would be a reasonable estimate at this point in time, anyway. So <laughs> that that's good job, <laughs> by the yeah. way. That's that's pretty <laughs> incredible. You say that very, uh, uh, you know, humbly, but that's. That's absolutely phenomenal. Oh, and it, and it definitely surpassed our expectations. Like, um, well, we would have been happy if even ten thousand people played it. And uh, right. And but yeah, just to have the amount of people that you know like to try it out, and, and even just like the amount of people to, to even have positive feedback on it. That was the other thing. Like, like that gameplay leak. <clears throat> that was just like that was brutal. Like. Uh, that was back in July, and and again when that happened, we were like, we were, we were like right on the doorstep of releasing this thing, and right. uh, and then this gameplay leak, which was completely unintentional. I know there's a lot of people that kind of think there's a conspiracy there, but no, that was that was you know an unintentional video release that that you know literally was stolen from us, right? And uh, and it was you know it was unfortunate that that made it out because of what what like it almost killed the mod like which is really kind of crazy because to have something you know basically done and then just we had there was so much negative feedback like it was rough like those that week after the mod there was a lot of people on the team and myself included that were kind of just like man what have what have we got ourselves into like you know like it, it, it's not that that represented the entire game but you know, to have that much hate kind of focused on that video, it was just like, wow, this could be an entire, like, brutal thing for us to do. And if, and especially for the guys trying to get into the industry, you know, if this is just the feedback on the video and we release the game and then it's like twice as bad, like, we could have a black mark that would mean you'd never get into the industry, right? So That's it was, it, yeah. yeah, there was, we had a long chat, um, kind of all of us developers, and we we're just kind of deciding, you know, should we even go through with this or should we literally just say, nope, that's it, we're done. And literally, you know, uh, like a fortnight before releasing the game, pull the plug on the whole thing. And, you know, obviously the cooler heads prevailed, you know, that right after it happened, you know, it was, there was a lot of emotion and, and reading a lot of the, the, the feedback is pretty tough, you know, especially when it's something you've poured your heart into for eight years and you haven't paid, yet gotten paid anything for, you know, and it's like thousands and thousands of hours. And then just to have people kind of rip it to pieces. And you're like, wow! I really thought it was better than that, but I guess not. Yeah. <laughs> you know? No, I, yeah, it I. was rough. I can see that. I mean, anything on the internet, you got to have a thick, thick skin. <laughs> yeah. You know, and I imagine that that probably, that whole situation probably set you guys up for uh, a lot of tough things. But contrasting it with the success that you've had, did that? Did do you think that that experience made the overall success that much sweeter oh totally like it like honestly even the first night um well i guess it, the very first day that we released it um all of us developers we were um, um all in kind of a group chat together and uh 
and and just as the game started to get out there and people started to play it and we were watching people play it like on uh you know some of those uh, like the game sites where you can watch people play live and whatnot yeah and just you know like like watching people play it and just see, hearing their reactions you know and and, and that was that was literally unreal because it was just like wow people actually do like this and you know <laughs> like this is something special for sure and and then it, yeah i just totally turned around like uh like that that week is still kind of just a blur in my mind just from the amount of the amount of people that you know and 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 from from all you know like whether they were a game reviewer or professional or just a fan you know just to hear um like all the positive feedback was great you know and obviously yes there's always criticisms and a lot of it was um definitely things that uh you know we wanted to look at and fix and whatnot but yeah it was still just you know uh, it definitely made up for it and and really you know like that it was a kind of a, a big huge collective sigh of relief on that day when the first kind of um first bit of uh um you know uh positive feedback came in and we're just like oh phew you know we're not all going to be shot and killed and you know hunted down and <laughs> yeah no yeah. I, for sure you know you mentioned that you're getting all now you get all this positive feedback and i know a lot of people want to know this and you've probably been asked a lot of times uh about valve's response and i know you probably can't get into uh specifics but can you can you tell us anything about how or what it meant for them to kind of reach out to you and whatever they said maybe pat on the back or whatever it is how did that feel to be recognized by a company like that yeah obviously that it definitely felt felt good um the, uh, to be honest, they actually didn't say a whole lot, especially at the start. Um, it was probably a week or so later that we had a, a couple of Valve employees um, specific, specifically say kind of congratulations on the release and that kind of thing. But um, as far as I know, I don't know if any of them have actually played it per se. Um, from like all the ones that kind of talked to us, all were planning to play it once it got onto Steam. So right. everyone was in the office, as, as, as far as I understand, is kind of holding off to play it until we release it on Steam and thus it'd be probably a bit more polished and uh, right you know we'd have, we will have addressed some of the the issues that the the fans kind of um, you know have given us to fix so um, but yeah like it, it definitely uh, uh, you know definitely means a lot to, have, to at least have recognition but but honestly like uh, uh, the, as far as the team goes you know I know we're all just uh, in, insanely thankful that they even allowed us to do this because <laughs> Like there isn't another company on the planet that's gonna let a group of nobodies, like remake one of their own IPs and that's release it. it to the masses and not get sued off the planet or even just having it shut down. Like I know there's a lot of games that have already tried to do what we've done and 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 you've had companies like EA and whatnot step in and say no, you know we don't we don't want anyone else messing around with this IP because you know we're planning on using it for other stuff. And and that's the crazy thing is like it's not like Valve, it's not even like this is an old IP like. <laughs> as far as we all know, they're all working on, you know, Half-Life 3 or Episode 3 or whatever, you know, whatever right. it could be. And so it's a very much active IP and we're kind of, you know, <laughs> in a way taking some pretty big liberties and saying, oh, we're going to we're going to say that this is how you meant this to be interpreted <laughs> back in Half-Life 1. And, you know, and we're, who cares what's going to happen in Half-Life 3 and maybe you're going to build off of something else we completely pulled out of the game, right? Like, right, <laughs> right. Yeah, so. you never know, but... I yeah. mean, at the same time, from Valve's perspective, could you ask for better publicity? Could you ask for, <laughs> you know what I mean? You guys having, you know, four or five million downloads, getting people re-energized on the Half-Life franchise is pretty incredible. Oh, definitely. It, it, I think it comes down to whether or not the timing is good for Valve. You know, right. obviously, if, if Half-Life 3 was coming out in 2013, then obviously this would be a, an amazing thing for them. But if, right. if they're like, well, we really don't want to have it coming out till 2014 <laughs> or 2015, and you yeah. just blew all of this hype in 2012, and you know, <laughs> yeah, <laughs> damn you, Black Mesa, right? Like, <laughs> <laughs> yeah, exactly. So uh, you you mentioned a couple times about getting some of the the criticisms from the fans after the fact, and now that you know it's been out for a little while, you've had some time to really reflect on it and see how these millions of different people have played the game. Is there anything that uh, you would go back and do differently from uh, like a technical perspective? Is there anything that you would change within the game? 
Oh, there would be no crouch jumping. I can tell you that. <laughs> Holy cow. I'm glad you Like, seriously, that. <laughs> I, like, that even blew my mind how big of a deal that was. Uh, like, again, I'm kind of a hardcore PC gamer, so crouch right. jumping is just... It's like as natural as breathing to me, and uh, and and I kind of figured that there would be ninety percent of the other people out there would feel the same way, but I didn't really realize that it had become that much of a problem. Right. And so that's you know it is definitely something that uh, uh, we're gonna fix, uh, and it's gonna be. Uh, we are still going to have as an option that you can crouch jump if you really want to, but we are going to pull that <laughs> for sure. That's very interesting. That's just yeah, that was that that was just really crazy. And and then obviously there's a lot of the other major uh, uh, complaints that people had gameplay wise, um, a little bit of the gun balancing and um, and a, a little bit of jumping puzzles. You know, like um, I would imagine that. Uh, a lot of the jumping puzzles will probably be toned down a little bit to be a little easier and a little less, you know, hard. Uh, but but again, it, like, you know, it is really a tough thing, especially when you're remaking a game that everyone loves. Um, it's like, okay, at what point do we appease the, you know, the hardcore fans? And at what point do we appease the new gamers, you know, the, the casual gamer, right? And, and, and Half-Life, I think definitely in most people's minds has always been considered a hardcore game. You know for hardcore gamers and so uh, you know some of the things like crouch jumping that was it literally wasn't even an issue like like we'd never even thought it would be an issue it was just like oh obviously we'll have crouch jumping because <laughs> that's that's half-life right exactly like, <laughs> right and so and then to have that come such a major thing and and and, and us kind of sit back and go you know that is kind of stupid to have crouch jumping so yeah we probably <laughs> should do something about that <laughs> that's pretty good that's funny yeah. But yeah, that would be, you know, there are definitely some stuff there that uh, if we had 2020 hindsight, it would be, you know, we would have made those changes for sure. These are things you're changing because you want to, obviously, but is there anything that you need to be uh, aware of when you're now trying to get integrated with Steam? Are there additional things that you need to refine? Um, like, as far as I know, I think the achievements have to be refined a little bit to work with Steam. I'm not, okay. I'm not 100% sure. Like, a um, I've only briefly talked with the programmers on some of that stuff. I know it's. I know there is a little bit of work though to do with the game to get it completely integrated. So, um, so yeah, you know, like uh, like I'm sure there'll be some minor adjustments just from that. But uh. obviously, Black Mesa Source is not the complete uh, Half Life experience. <laughs> yeah. Probably know where I'm going with this, but yeah, uh, there's there's still some chapters that are yet to come out. Yeah. Do you have anything you can tell us uh, about those chapters without, you know, obviously giving too much away? <laughs> um, yeah, like uh, like specifically in like gameplay or what are you wanting to know or either, audio or what? Either way, I mean, I know that you've got, what is it, about four, four or five chapters left to do? Yeah. So from a gameplay perspective, I mean, what I think was really cool is how we got that little preview of Zen uh, mm -hmm. in like the kind of the science area of the game towards the end uh, where you had the, the little habitats. Yep. So I think everybody's very excited to see that. Um, so can you tell us a little bit about the gameplay choices that you guys are making and obviously the, uh, the audio choices? Um, well, gameplay wise, um, again, I, I, I don't know how much I can say. I don't want to get shot in the back by my For team, sure. but um, you got to worry about getting stabbed from people and shot oh, by your own team. I know. That's, I, I, that's I, know. Very I, I talk about being stabbed and shot a lot, but it is seriously <laughs> a fear of mine. I've, I've received a couple death threats. So oh, no, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> no I'm, I'm not that worried about it. Um, yeah, like we are definitely going to be taking a completely fresh look at Zen. Okay. Um, like, we are other than maybe the very uh like primary points most of it is going to be uh like very much our own interpretation um okay. and a lot of that kind of comes from um just just the fact that a lot of people aren't weren't really super happy with the um like the original zen like think of it sort of like our take on um on, on a rail, uh, we definitely tweak that a lot. Like, yes, it's, big it's almost unrecognizable from the original. Uh, but from the feedback I've, I've noticed on it, a lot of it is really positive because it was kind of a, a like a dull spot in the game, uh, in the original game. And it, you know, and we kind of were just like, oh, well, let's, you know, let's just streamline this and, 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 and make it a bit, you know, a bit more focused. 
Now, that being said with Zen, it, it's not that we were, were going to cut Zen down. And in fact, I would, I would imagine um, that Zen will probably end up being bigger. Again, you know, this isn't, don't quote me on this. And For I don't sure. want people trying to stab the team if this is going to happen. You know, <laughs> if, if what I say doesn't come true, because this is... Yeah, you know, for sure. I'm just an audio guy again, but uh, but yeah, I would imagine Zen will be uh, uh, definitely a little uh, bigger, kind of more important, and it definitely uh, it's not going to be like parts of our of, of the of Black Mesa and Half Life where you could play them side by side and definitely go like, oh, this is this section, you know. I'm 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 basically kind of thinking that. Um, um, when when uh, when you get to our Zen, it's going to be oh wow, this is totally different. And other than kind of your primary goal, which would be you know uh, destroying the Nihilanth, it'd be like that's kind of you know other than that, everything else is going to be probably a completely original experience. 